Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. This series of videos is about fetal genitalial ultrasound. This is the third video in this video series with title of Disorders of Sexual Development Part 1. This presentation is a brief introduction to prenatal diagnosis of disorders of sexual development. The critical period for sexual development appears to be 8 to 12 weeks of gestation. This is suggested by reports of normal appearing genitalia at 13 to 15 weeks with subsequent abnormalities of size and structure that appear to evolve as pregnancy progresses. This supports the notion that some genital malformations change throughout pregnancy rather than always occurring following a single non-progressive insult. Fetal gender abnormality can be diagnosed by fetal ultrasound and or MRI examination or by finding a discrepancy between the fetal phenotypic and chromosomal sex. This is a complex situation described by confusing eponyms such as intersex, hermaphrodite, and pseudo-hermaphrodite terms that only add to parental confusion and anxiety. A consensus statement recommended using the term disorder of sex development as a generic definition encompassing any problem noted at birth where the genitalia are typical in relation to the chromosomes or gonads, rather than a descriptive definition. According to this consensus statement, the sex chromosome is used as a prefix to define the category of disorder of sex development. Thus, what used to be called male pseudohermaphroditism is now called XYDSD, and what used to be called female pseudohermaphroditism is now known as XXDSD, and true hermaphroditism is now called ovotesticular DSD. The category to which the disorder belongs is thus a combination of the chromosomal sex, phenotypic sex, and gonadal sex. Prenatal diagnosis and accurate categorization of the DSD is complicated by the ultrasound resolution and radiographer's expertise in detecting accurately the phenotypic and gonadal sex and the fact that determination of the chromosomal sex can only be done by an invasive procedure like chorionic velocity sampling, amniocentesis, or chordosynthesis, with each procedure carrying its own risk for miscarriage or premature delivery, depending on gestational age at the time of the procedure. Thus, the chromosomal sex is not always readily available. Furthermore, unlike other fetal abnormalities, the most severe abnormality can look normal though of the opposite sex and may therefore go undetected. For example, severe masculinization of the female external genitalia as in 21 hydroxylase deficiency which results in Prader 4 will be indistinguishable from the normal male external genitalia, while severe incomplete masculinization of the male external genitalia as seen in androgen insensitivity syndrome will appear like normal female external genitalia. In this fetus, due to high-risk report in first screening test, the patient underwent NIPT test, which revealed a low risk for trisomies 21, 18, and 13. The sex chromosome analysis indicated a probability of XY with about 99% accurately. This mid-trimester ultrasound scan shows the female external genitalia completely. Due to mismatch between fetal sex and ultrasound phenotype, amniocentesis was performed at 22 weeks 
weeks of gestation and subsequently sent to quantitative fluorescent polymerase chain reaction or PCR analysis and a comparative genomic hybridization or CGH microarray study. The PCR test showed a profile consistent with a male fetus. The CGH microarray study showed no chromosomal imbalances, but the autosomal recessive gen molecular analysis showed the presence of a pathogenetic mutation consistent with congenital androgen insensitivity syndrome. It's therefore important to assess the fetal DSD in a stepwise fashion to obtain as much information as possible and make the most likely diagnosis in order to enable the woman to make an informed decision regarding the outcome of their pregnancy. In next video, I will try to explain this stepwise approach completely. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter and thank you for your attention.